session. Overran somewhat because of the brilliant badminton on display. Ah, oh, we have an Indonesian fan there as well. Well, there's plenty for the fans to do in the fan zone, I can assure you of that. It's a wonderful day out for all the fans who come to the World Tour Finals here. Well, our next match is men's singles. And the player who started the tournament is the number two seed, Jonathan Christie of Indonesia, against the player who started the tournament as the number three seed, Shi U Chi. Well, this is the men's singles uh, draw. And you can see in the bottom half of the draw, the two Danes, now three of the four players in the semi-finals have won the title previously. The only one who has not is Jonathan Christie. In fact, he's trying to become uh, the first Indonesian ever to win either the Super Series or the World Tour Finals men's singles title. Uh, there's been two other Indonesians in finals, and that was Tommy Sugiato and twice Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. In fact, Gintin was in the final last year, losing out to Victor Axelsson. So she she winner of this title in Guangzhou in 2018. The World Championship silver medalist from that same year, 2018. And his opponents, Jonathan Christie, in his second semi-final the World Tour Finals. What a charming little mascot he's bringing on with him. What a delightful young man, waving to the crowd. Isn't that just lovely? So, in fact, it's the second consecutive semi-final for Jonathan Christie because he was in the semi-final stage last year. This will be a 12th meeting between these two players. And of the previous 11, Jonathan Christie has won six of them. But the last time they met was in the first round of the Singapore Open Good earlier evening. this year. Black and Xiu Chi won Black. in two straight for games. 44 minutes for that match in Singapore. Red. Receive. So Jonathan receive. Christie chooses to receive. Shi Chi is 27 years of age now from Nantong in Jiangsu province, former world number two. And as I was telling you, he has a world championship silver medal. Actually spent 52 weeks in total at his career high of number two, but he finished the race to these world tour finals at number three. And as far as his World Tour results this year are concerned, well, he has been in two finals, uh, but he was the only player of the eight at the World Tour finals here in the men's singles not to have won a World Tour title this year. On Wednesday, he beat the defending and four-time champion Victor Axelsson in two straight games. Then he lost to Anthony Ginting in three games. And yesterday had a thriller against the number one seed. Kodai Naraoka was a game and 13 17 down before eventually coming through in three. Jonathan Christie is 26 years of age now, born in the Indonesian capital of Jakarta. A five foot ten and very, very recently married in the last week or so. Semi-final last year, he lost to his teammate, Anthony Ginting, who then lost in the final. 
He, uh, like his opponent, has been as high as number two on the world ranking. That was at the beginning of this year. Ten weeks in total, right from the end of January. So the whole of uh, February and half of March at number two. Looking at his results, uh, well, he, on Wednesday he beat the 2021 runner-up and the reigning world champion, Hula Widersan. On, on Thursday he beat Antonsen, the 2020 winner. Ready to play. And then yesterday lost to Li Shi Fang in two straight games. It, it did mean that Group B was awfully complicated. In fact, both groups were awfully complicated because uh, players had the same number of wins and losses. Uh, three players and the same number of game differences within their three matches and it all went down to points, which was very dramatic. Sven Suri of Belgium is our umpire for this, and Gunas Lusveras of Latvia, the service judge. So can Jonathan Christie become only the third player from Indonesia Ladies to contest either the Super Series or right? World Tour Finals final? China. China. On my left, Jonathan Christie, Indonesia. See you, see you, sir. Love all. Play. Well, a little earlier this year, Xiu Chi, who's nearest to us as we look down on the court, reached the final in this city of the Asian Games. Silver medalist lost out to his teammate Li Shi Feng in the final. Same man he lost to in the All England final. One of the Super 1000 events, only four of those per year. Also reached the final of the Kumamoto Masters, did Shiu Chi. One love. Jonathan Christie, on the other hand, has won three World Tour titles this year. Two at Super 500 level, Indonesian Masters and the Hong Kong Open. And also the French Open, which was a 750 event. been quite a breakthrough for Jonathan Christie this year because not only those three World Tour titles, uh, four well World Tour tournament finals in total, but for the first time this year he won events over the 300 level on the World Tour. His first 500, back that up with another 500 event and then a 750 title. I think that sh shows good improvement, don't you, Chris? Definitely, and winning a 750, the majority of players are there, if not everyone's there. Sometimes a 500, one or two might be missing, but yeah, it is very impressive improvement. thing that concerns me a little is the amount of time that Chi Chi was on court yesterday. An hour and 38 minutes in comparison to Jonathan Christie who was on court for less than an hour. Yeah, and the difference for the two between um, all their matches, Chi Chi has been on court for three hours and 32 minutes and Jonathan's been on for two hours and 31. So it yeah. is quite a big difference. It is, isn't it? Almost like an extra game that Chi Chi's played. Good attacking play from Shiu Chi. I think 
the other thing that was very one. evident at the end of Shiichi's game yesterday, he, you know, he was physically fully drained. You know, he yes. didn't look like he had much left at all. But the way he's come out here is very impressive. It's going to be interesting to see if we know how well Jonathan can move around the court. And he look, I mean, in theory, he's got to be fresher. But can he sustain the attack of Shiichi long enough to try and drain him a bit like... In the ladies' singles, we, we saw Chen Yufei handle two games pretty well, but in the third, she really did struggle. Serve is over. Two, three. Time is over. Four, two. Great hold there from Xu Chi, that bit of deception. I'd definitely say he's reading what Christie's doing quite well at the moment. Xu Chi just seems that little bit more competent with understanding where the shuttle's going and reading the game. It's a lovely cross-court guided shot from Seven Jonathan over. Christie. Three, four. Chi, there was virtually no backswing of the racket and no follow through of the racket. It was just like a little tap across Five, court. Four. How did he get the control with that? He reads exactly where it's going, takes it in front of him. Fantastic control and the quality of the shot. It's a real pity. I don't think we're going to get to see that again. Oh, that was going wide, you know. into the corner. I don't think he could have walked over there and placed it any better. Six, four. <laughs> Magnificent. Yeah, approved by Sun Jun. Six, four. Yeah, he's done it again. 
that time there was a bit more of a follow through on that cross court Seven, forehand four. block. But not a lot more. Big thing there is for me, Jonathan, he's, he's got a good attack, but he, Shiuchi's reading it and he's almost putting it onto Shiuchi's racket, which gives him the ability to play that phenomenally controlled shot and take it early. Which then gives Christie absolutely no time to be able to chase the shuttle down. Oh! Oh, that's unbelievable. He's totally controlling the front Eight, of the court at the moment. Four. Shiuchi. The shot he's played there is exceptional. He's made it look so easy, but he's caught it to perfection. If he catches that slightly wrong, that either goes upwards or in the net. Incredibly complex shot to play. He's done it again. Another one right into the corner. Nine, four. At the moment, the shot quality from Chi Chi is quite exceptional. He's reading the game so well. It's making life incredibly difficult for Christie. Started well, hasn't he? This is five straight points. Then four. That shot is incredible because he's not actually in as good a position as it, it seemed to start with. When we watch on the replay, he's slightly off balance, but he's played it to perfection. Those six straight points have put a different complexion on the early stages of this opening game. Nice. Six, ten. Shiuchi keeping the rally for so Seven, long. Ten. That one was an incredible pickup, but then he followed up with that. And that one. And that one. Oh, never say die attitude. Extraordinary. Very calm and composed though from Christie, because sometimes in that situation you can almost force it and get frustrated that your opponent's continuously getting it back. Just kept putting Shiuchi under more and more pressure until it became very comfortable. big runs in this match already. Yeah. Six points to Xiu Chi, followed by four points already for Jonathan Christie. Intriguing. Make that five points for Nine, Jonathan ten. Christie. Christie's speed's gone up, but his shot quality also 
earlier on. He wasn't really stretching Shiyuchi. Shiyuchi was on balance and it was kind of one step from base. Whereas now it's going just outside those zip lines, just outside where the indentations on the court are, which is stretching Shiyuki that little bit more. Well, a lucky net cord, and now six straight points to Jonathan Christie. What an unusual scoring pattern. That's seven straight points, and Jonathan Christie seven, seven. in the lead interval. at the mid-game interval. Who would have thought that just a moment ago? I can't help but wonder that long rally we had that was so dramatic with Shi Yu Chi uh, diving twice, I think, to retrieve the shuttle he was in all sorts of trouble and since then I don't think he's won a point and I wonder whether in fact he used too much energy trying to uh, chase a lost cause as it were Delicious. Shot quality from Shiuchi at times is exceptional. Saw one earlier from round the head, and, and this one was even better. Angle shot towards the Jonathan Christie forehand well, side. 11. Played an outright winner with it on the previous rally. And that time, at least Jonathan Christie got his racket to it. Thank you. Short. Oh, he's played the same shot again. Christie is getting closer and closer to it. So he missed it altogether the first time, got his racket to it the second time. Third time, 13, got it back, 11. Uh, but not a good enough shot from it. But that's the thing, the shot quality is so good from Xiu Chi that for Christie, he's so stretched. You can see here, look, totally off balance. And then it's impossible to cover the other side. See, it's slightly short. Thank you. Even when he did retrieve it, that last shot for Xiu Chi, it's really comfortable.
One left. That is over. 12, 13. Oh, it's just wide. Yeah, it was the right shot to try and play. There was definitely a gap down the Xi Chi forehand side. 13. Hope for Indonesia to win a title or even get to a final here at the World Tour Finals. Jonathan Christie, because the only other Indonesians in semi final stage, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Urian Adianto, are lost earlier today in the men's doubles. Fifteen, thirteen. Brilliant. Oh, that is sensational. What a super rally. Chi is constructing the rallies really well. 16, he's getting too many 13. chances though to attack it, Jonathan, when he's on balance. We've seen him go down Christie's forehand a few times and he's had a lot of success and same here. You can see how off balance he is. He does incredible to get this backhand, but again, he's in so much trouble. He did that with broken strings, Chi Chi. Strings are gone again, I think. Yeah. Goodness me, what's that? Two, two Seven strings gone in two rallies? Three rallies. 14. Three rallies, yeah. That's why it's so important for players to have quite a few rackets in your bag. It's interesting. I think Xi Chi is probably one of the only Chinese players that spent time abroad. When he was the age of 11, he went to, uh, to Singapore for two years to further his education at a young age, and then came back to China. So maybe have a bit of a bigger focus on his badminton. A 
that's a remarkable final smash from Jonathan Christie. He'd been in all sorts of trouble earlier on in the rally. 15-17. That defensive shot. Now, clear, I get it. I get the height to give him time, but the length is too Thank short. You. If you're going high to give yourself time, you have to at times essentially to give yourself time, but so important, the length, because you're giving your opponent time as well. Oh, that's going wide. Yeah. That is over. 18, 15. There's, there's been a real concerted effort in this opening game from Xi Chi to get on the attack. And I'm not surprised about that when you think back, Chris, to the uh, last of the group matches when uh, another Chinese player, Li Shi Feng, played against Jonathan Christie. And he attacked throughout, didn't he, and played a very aggressive style of play. Yep. And I think also Xi Chi, well, he's going to think, he, you know, he doesn't want this to go to three. And if he loses the first, obviously, the only way he can win is in three. And would he have enough in the tank? Whereas if he can win it in two, because that extra hour on court throughout the tournament is definitely going to be weighing him down if it, if it did end up going to three. Brilliant. In so quickly there, Jonathan Christie. 16, 19. The change of pace there was phenomenal. The rally had got a bit slow and then he gets the half chance there. Perfect technique. Just a firm push out in front. No real backswing. Blake. the back line and it is game point opportunities for Xi Chi four of them to be precise So the opening game. 21 16. 21 16.
Second game, level one. Play. Oh, Shi Chi, exceptionally positive in that opening game. Look to attack whenever possible. Christie will try and change his tactics a little here, Chris. I think he's got to a little bit. I think his shot quality just a little bit was up and down at times. Got a little bit predictable as well, and I think she she, she was kind of on the front foot and managing to dominate, but I do think Jonathan has to be a little bit more aggressive with how he's going to play. If they uh, didn't really move Shi Uchi in is slightly ball. short and obvious. Yeah, I think Jonathan Christie certainly needs to be more proactive. I think he was a little reactive in that opening game. He's got wonderful skills and as you've already said, beautiful movement. that mistake there from Shi Uchi. I would say he, he did incredible to stay in that rally because there were two times when Christie used his incredible speed to get into a good position, but the quality from Shi Uchi when he was in trouble was pretty good. So it didn't really turn into anything. And I think that the quality from Shi Uchi in regards to his shot quality so far has been very impressive. variation and the shot quality for me are the two big main differences at the moment. Don't think Christie's quite reading what Shiuchi's doing. On court. so far and you look Three, how two. often especially when, when they've been clearing like this who is it that hits the downward shot first it's never to blame or most of the time 80 percent of the time it's she and she yeah and i would say he is control you know in the first game he controlled the majority not all the rallies but definitely the majority and he's trying to do the, the same in this one For, for Christie, it's difficult Four, because two. he's got to make a bigger opening to try and uh, win the point, whereas I think Shiuchi can create a bit more from nothing. So Christie has to be a bit more patient, calmer to move the shuttle around. It's just not quite happening. He's not getting these openings, these gaps, to be able to get these opportunities, and then he just forced it. Just why there's a challenge here from Xi Yu Qi. Xi Yu Qi challenges for 
Now, I've got a lot wrong. Definitely more wrong than my, my line calls, but I do think that was in. It's got it wrong again. I'm not, I'm not picking up. <laughs> It must be I'm at a very obscure angle, Jim. Have you got the, the right got, content yeah, seeing your right it. eyes? Or, have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be the worst line judge in the world. This is the thing, it's just a bit of frustration there because five, three. he's got to work the rally to get the opening. and. It hasn't really happened a lot in the first game or the second game, and there he's just gone for something that's not really possible. Well, this is rather concerning if you're an Indonesian fan right Six, now. Three. Not because he's near to losing, there's more than enough time to come back, but simply because of what's happening within the rallies. Yep. Another one goes wrong of the back line. But I would agree with you, I would say it's, it's following a very, very Seven, similar pattern from the first three. game, which is Christie's on the back foot. Shiyuchi's controlling the rallies, being more attacking, being more dominant, more variation. Christie looks, you know, he's doubting things. He's not sure where the shuttle's going. Eight, three. So important he stops this run, not just obviously for points, but just to change the momentum. Yeah. He's changed his racket, hoping that's going to bring a change of fortune. It's these unforced errors that are now proving the issue. sort of misses look to me as if and that's a sign that Jonathan Christie is beginning to get a little three. bit anxious yeah, there's a little bit of panic and also you get to the point where you start to force it because you, you, you start to lose belief that you can win the point This is the tricky thing now for Christie. Ten, four. Shiuchi's not having to do a lot at the moment to, to end up scoring the point. He's working the rallies well, but just a few of these unforced errors sneaking in from Christie. game interval and it's a seven point advantage and this is looking like a dominant display at the moment by Xiu Chi. Jonathan Christie is not just is just not finding any way forward at the moment. Thank you. 
让有机会擦擦墙的，没地方再来过，再来过，然后就把时间就拖长，把一个换一个，把一个换一个，哎，我不急，啊，这是问题，还是经验，关键关键关键，关键还是关键啊，很好，保持住啊。So time, I think, for Jonathan Christie to Eleven, try four. something a little different. Play. Playing a reactive style is obviously not working today against Shiuchi. Well, he did try to be more aggressive there. And broke the strings of his Twelve, racket, which is why, four. in all probability, he made the mistake. This is the difficult situation at the moment for Christie when he's trying to be a little bit more aggressive or trying to be more dangerous. He's missing, he's either clipping the tape or it's just going out. And then when he's playing a bit safer, the shot quality is not quite good enough and he's not making Shiuchi move the point before the break. He tried to go cross court at Shiuchi and it went to him, which made it so comfortable for him to be able to play a, a simple block. It's a much better attack. You can see yeah. Shiuchi is off balance. That was over. Five, 12. But Jonathan Christie was the first one to play the attacking shot within the rally, and I think that's just as important as the attacking play. Five twelve. Christie's commanding this rally, you know, taking the initiative. Yeah, and a different result works Six, in his favour. Okay. Brilliant. Super shot from Christie. Seven, Yep, that's clearly it. Eight, twelve. Again, there, stepping in and making sure you team with the full distance. Very good shot quality. Four of the last five points to Jonathan Christie. Oh, that's good. That's what he was doing earlier on in the match. Is, but I think when he's gone out on his backhand, Christie is just easy, obvious, and it's short. We've seen how devastating Shiuchi is on his attack, especially if you lift short to him. Great rally. Gosh, he's Holy playing well, isn't he, Shiuchi? Yeah, he's definitely taking the game on. And sometimes in your mind, when you have it's all or nothing, and just by that I mean he knows if it goes to three, it is a humongous challenge because of how 
you know, physically, how much more does he have to give? And he's so committed to his strategy and his tactics in these first two games, and it's proving so important, and he's proving he's playing at such a good level. Perfect net shot. 15, 8. And he restores his seven point advantage that he had at the mid game interval. Oh, that's going wide. Sabadova, 9, 15. Great retrieval. Great lift from there. Brilliant. Utterly brilliant from Shi Chi. My goodness, what a super rally. Both players playing so well in that rally. Shi Chi there, I think he got three back there. It almost seemed impossible to get back. That is a massive, massive 16, rally for him. 10. Sixteen ten. Brilliant. Oh, it's wide. Again, what a good rally. Quality net shot from Jonathan Christie, the cross court net shot, then another net tumble. And while Shi Uchi tried to play, the kill brushed off the top of the tape, just couldn't control it enough. Game's really come alive in the last three or four points. The, the level has really risen. Brilliant block, Jonathan Christie. 12, 16. Whenever we're seeing either player play a block that tight, you know, they're reading where it's going so well and they're taking it early, they're stepping in. The, the body weight is going in a forward, forward direction. Nice. No, oh, why on earth wasn't he hitting shots like 13, that 16. earlier on in the match? It's a phenomenal shot, and I think earlier when he did try, he was just missing. Whereas now it just feels everything's starting to come together. Thank you.
Oh, that's wild. There's only two points in it now. 14, Eight 16. points adrift at one stage at 4.12. This is remarkable. Oh, Jonathan Christie. That forehand block across court has served him well today. This block is just exceptional. It's not, I wouldn't even say it's a bad smash. Just exceptional, that net cord, and then the shot just dies. What a perfect time Chi Chi to play that shot. Thank you. Stopping that run of four to Christy. Seventeen fourteen. So it was over. Yeah, it didn't leave his 15, feet just. Jumped in the air. Yeah, Christy put a little bit of deception on that one. I think she, she just struggled to see exactly where it was going. Oh, a net cord from Shi Chi, and it was very nearly a net cord back from Jonathan Christie. 18, 15. To get that net cord from down, how low he took it. He's had two net cords in three rallies, just the right time for him. Three point advantage and three points away from booking his place in tomorrow's final, Shiuji. with a game plan, 19, having watched his 15. teammates beat Jonathan Christie with an attacking style yesterday with the same intent. And so far, Xi Chi has implemented that to perfection. Two points away from a second final at the World Tour Finals, five years after he won the title in Guangzhou. That's long at the back line. And it's match point opportunities for Xi Yu Chi. 20 match points, 15. Jonathan Christie. Christie for a second consecutive year losing in the semi-final stage of the World Tour Finals. But what a remarkable final shot from Shi Yu Chi. 
and Parr confirming that scoreline. 21-16, 21-15 in 55 minutes. A wonderful performance from the only man at the World Tour Finals in the men's singles who has not won a World Tour title this year. Look at that. It's gone way past him. It's just instinct and reaction. <laughs> incredible, incredible reaction. No wonder he's delighted with that. Confirmation of the scoreline. 21-16, 21-15 in the match lasting 55 minutes. So coming up next is the second men's singles semi-final. It's an all-Danish affair with the defending champion and four-time winner, Victor Axelsson, against the man who beat him the 2020 edition, Anna Zantonson.